Today we're going to look at how to use the decal functionality in FrameForge. So we have a guy here and let's say we want to put him in a t-shirt with a logo on it. So what I just did was I double clicked him to bring him into the green room. Since we want him in a t-shirt, I'm going to first get rid of his jacket. So without jacket, um, without tie, and for a shirt, let's make it a t-shirt tucked. Okay, so next I click color, textures, and state. Um, and at this point I can just click on the t-shirt. It flashes yellow to tell me that it's selected. And then I click apply edit decal. It automatically pops up this decal dialog. This is the existing texture of the shirt. This is our 3D version of it, so we can see what we're doing. And let's put on a texture. So I choose choose decal, and it automatically takes me to the decal area. For clothing, um, let's, oops, here, let's go here and look at clothing, and t-shirt logos, and um, of course, let's see what we've got here. Oh, we have tons of stuff. Um, let's go for a yin-yang for no apparent reason. Now, uh, if you notice, it comes in and it's on his shoulder, which as you can see here, it's on his shoulder. So let's just move it to the center of his body and let's look at it and hey, looks pretty good. Um, we could uh, resize it so we could stretch it. We could um, make it more or less transparent um, if we wanted. We can rotate it. There you go. Um, and so on. So, let's just rotate it now. Um, and that's about it. We can also use this for a lot of other things than just t shirts. So, for example, um, if we wanted to put a beard on him, so I can click on him, click on his face, it flashes yellow. Click apply edit decal. Here is his face. We'll choose decal. Let's go up. And it should be something like facial hair. And there it is. And we have a whole variety of um, uh, facial hair. So we can give him a goatee. Um, and now if you look here, he has a nice little goatee. Um, I can make that a little more transparent, which might blend it in a little better. Um, if he's supposed to have a skull, for example, I can take the decal, go up here. And um, go to scars. What do we have? We have a stitched scar. Let's see what that is. Okay. So that's a nice stitched scar. Uh, I can rotate that so it's in the angle I want. And then size it to what I want. And then again, I can do a little blending by making it more transparent. So now he has a scar in his uh, cheek. And so on and so forth. You can use this for pretty much any kind of thing that you want to apply to one of our existing textures. And that's how it works. Thanks.